There's two, there's four, there's six and eight. Shunting, rolling stock, and hauling freight. Red, green, yellow, orange, purple, brown, blue, they're the really useful crew. That's who, all with different roles to play around Tidmouth Sheds and far away. Down Gordon's Hill and around some bends, we got Thomas and his friends. It was quite a hot day on the Scarloe Railway. And speaking of hot... Rusty, what happened? The Yemen and the Netherlands refreshmen have caught fire. Now we're trying to clear out. Don't worry, we have lots of water. So Luke helped out in order to attempt to put out the fire. But just when all hope seemed lost, there was Harold hovering by. With him what it looked like a big bucket. He was going to use it to put out the fire. Here I come! And with a whoosh, the fire was out, and everyone praised him. Thanks! Although it was a bit of a long flight to get here, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it, but luckily I did! Harold did have a point. Rusty had a lot to think about when he got back to Croven's Gate. Hello there, little Diesel. My goodness, what happened to you? We had to deal with a fire at the Lakeside Loop, but it's a bit of hassle for the rescue team to get up from Silvery to the Scarlowe Railway. Our railway desperately needs a fire department. Poor little Diesel, Emily thought to herself. So she made a decision. After she got done with her passenger duties, she paid a visit to Thomas's branch line in order to find Ruth. Ruth was about to set up her snow machine for Cleo when Emily pulled up. Hi, Emily. What's up? Hello, Ruth. Listen, do you think you could do something for the Scarlilly Railway? After her explanation, Ruth had a solution. Stop by the mall to pick me up and take me to Corbin's Gate! Come the following day, Emily was true to her word and she picked up Ruth. Ruth had a plan to invent some rescue rolling stock for Rusty, but needed some old rolling stock to do so. Now you've mentioned it, we may have some old rolling stock of the abandoned slate quarry. You're more than welcome to explore there. Fred shall escort you. Me? Yes, Fred, you. I'm just an excuse for a spare engine, am I? What about Luke? The blue man of quality is like- Fred, no precrastination. Fine. With a grumble, Fred took Ruth to the abandoned slate quarry, and it didn't take her long to find some good rolling stock, either. These are perfect! Okay, Fred, take us back! Whoa, 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 hold on! You said you had to take her to the slate quarry? That's it! I am not traveling 10 miles back again! My sidewalk ain't enough! 
You accept Ruth to hold these old trunks all the way back to Corbett's gate? Okay, I'll bite the boy. I will enjoy it. You have to uh, excuse him, ma'am. <laughs> He's a lazy, stubborn type. Now for the fun part. Could I be of assistance? Hello, who are you? Hi, my name is Delilah. I'm recently new here, although this place is a bit of a freelance job. And if you like, I could help invent whatever you're working on. Sure, I could use a hand. By early afternoon, Rusty arrived to see his latest rolling stock. What's all this thing? This, my friend, is your new rescue rolling stock. A spotlight truck and a hose truck. After a rundown and walkthrough, Rusty was ready to give his rolling stock a test. Best of luck! Let us know how it turns out! <laughs> yeah, boy. First, Rusty looked along the Glenlock School. No trouble there. But Rusty continued his patrol. When he got to the Scarlowy Station, beyond the bridge, he saw smoke. Smoke! When there's smoke, there's fire. He got his hose out and started to blast water at it. But it turned out it wasn't a fire, but a soaking Sir Handel. That's so cold, Rusty. What was that for? Do you not feel bad? You did a fine job shooting him. <laughs> Stay with <laughs> Sorry, Sir Randall. So Rusty kept on trying. He continued along the line until he was flagged down by a farmer. What happened, sir? My pump's broken, summertime's here, and my sheep need to stay hydrated. While it didn't look like too much of a big emergency, Rusty was still eager to help. He got his hose truck, the hose took aim, and blasted water right into the tub, and the sheep were very happy. Woo-wee! Thanks a lot! It was getting quite late, and felt like Rusty's job was done, but his patrols were far from over when he got flagged down again. What's wrong, sir? Help! Timmy the lambs, he's got missing! Oh boy, that is an emergency. There's no time to lose. Here, take this. It's Timmy's mother's bell. He'll always respond to it. That should be useful. Thanks a lot. Timmy! Where are you? It was getting darker and darker. Rusty thought that it should be the perfect opportunity to use his spotlight truck. So his driver went back and flipped it on. The light shone brightly and it looked everywhere. Then, as the driver rang the bell, there was Timmy racing towards Rusty. He looked scared. But they found out why. A pack of hungry wolves were about to have some dinner. With some quick thinking, Rusty had an idea. He told his driver to get to the hose truck, and he took aim and blasted the water right at the wolves. Startled, the wolves dashed off. Sorry, wolves, but lamb chops are off the menu. So in the end, Rusty took Timmy back to the farm hill. Bless you, Rusty. You're a real hero. Just doing my job, sir. Next day, a big ceremony was held, where Rusty was promoted the part-time safety engine of the Scar Lily Ray. Well, I can't take all the credit. 
The idea came from this engineer. Glad I could help out. I guess this makes two of us rescue engines, huh? Sure does. Thank you, Mr. Engine. Please, call me 